Hey, welcome to a uh, simple Python turtle graphics game using classes part five. Um, so, so far what we've been able to do is we've created a few classes, a uh, border class, player class, and a goal class. And uh, we've created some instances of that class. Um, that's actually number four, but this is number five. And so basically everything's working, it's moving around. What we wanna do is we wanna check that the player has touched the goal. Okay, so this is called collision checking. There are different ways of doing this. Um, in some game engines, uh, the really good ones, you'll be doing bit by bit checking, which is which is what you really want to do. Um, in others, you'll do something called bounding box uh, collisions. And in ours, we're going to do something way way simpler. Uh, we're just going to use the Pythagorean theorem to measure the distance between the two objects. So if the distance is lower than a certain amount. And that we can say, okay, so if the center of you know, the, the player and the center of the goal are less than a certain distance, then basically they've collided. Um, so hopefully that'll make, make sense. So we're gonna need to use the uh, math module uh, because we need to do a little bit of math, uh, in particular square root. So if you remember from you know, your high school geometry class, uh, the Pythagorean theorem is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And so we can use that and in this case, you know, c squared is the distance squared. So basically what we have to do is we've created a function. Um, you may want to pause if you uh, want to type that in. And this is not inside one of the classes. We could have done it that way, uh, but we'll keep it outside for now. And we have a function or a method, depending on what you prefer. Uh, we defined it. It's called isCollision. Um, you see is, that's usually telling you that it's going to return true or false, a boolean. Okay, So I am going to be sending turtle1, t1, and t2 to the function. It's going to calculate the dis distance or the difference in the x-coordinates and the difference in the y-coordinates. That's our a and b of a triangle. That's how that would work. And then we use you know, just a little, just basic algebra. So we have a squared plus b squared and math.square root. So the square root of that just keep an eye on your parentheses. You got one, two, three left, one, two, three right, so everything's balanced. And that gives us the distance. So if that distance is less than 20, now I played around with the numbers, and for the objects we have on the screen, 20 works really, really well. So if the distance is less than 20, return true. That means there is a collision. Otherwise, return false, there is no collision. Okay. So that's the function. The function is very, very simple. Okay. Um, so what we have to do down here in our main loop uh, is add a little extra code. And you know what we said before is the program starts up here at line one, goes all the way down. Okay. And once we get to the main loop, you know everything up to the main loop only happens once. Okay, because we're defining things. Uh, but inside the main loop, we're actually using these these class methods, move and move. And here we want to use the function is collision. So if there is a collision between the player, which is a turtle, and the goal, which is also a turtle, because we made child classes, we want the goal to jump. And what jump does is jump. So it's basically the same thing as this. So I could have actually you know, probably used that. But uh, so if it collides, we want the, you know, the orb or the goal to jump to a random position, which we talked about in the previous video, and to change the heading. So it'll go to a random location. Okay, so I'll leave that on the screen here and try it out. This is what it does. So it started at a random location. It's bouncing off the walls. So I'm going to turn and I'm going to watch how close I need to get. Okay, it didn't quite touch if you look carefully, but you know, in the middle of a game, you can't really tell. Boom. Okay, so every time I touch it, it jumps. Oop, missed that. Okay, so it jumps to a random location and the heading is changing. And that's exactly what we wanted. So, you know, rewind the video if you need to uh, get the code. But basically, jumps very, very simple. I just copied this and definition in there. Um, Pythagorean theorem one is a little bit more complex. Don't forget to import math. Okay, it's very, very important because we got to do the square root. And then in our main loop, we need to do that. So you can see here, it's you know because we're using classes and functions, you know, even if you didn't understand code, okay, so player moves, the goal moves, check for collision, 
Okay, if the player and goal collide, the goal is going to jump somewhere. Yeah, it's pretty pretty easy to read. That's one of the strengths uh, of Python and object-oriented programming. That is it.